Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, I will show you how to create a project in Primavera. So first of all, do you see this enterprise menu here? So this enterprise menu, projects option, when you click on this option, you will see list of projects defined already in this company. Here if you notice, there are some folder style lines here, some pyramid, yellow pyramid here, for example, enterprise, TD, training division, engineering and construction, energy, manufacturing. So what is the difference between these two? Remember these folder style icon, this represents a project defined in this department. And this yellow pyramid style icon is for the department in the company or sometimes you have sub departments within the department or sub divisions within the division. So this yellow pyramid is called as enterprise project structure. In simple wording this is just like a department or sub department or division or sub division in the company. And this folder style icon is for the project. So how to create a project? if you just see on the right side here if you follow the mouse cursor here you see this plus sign this plus sign is available on all the screens almost activities resources WBS if you click on this screen and, and this uh, icon plus icon it will create a new entry on that screen so right now as we are on the project screen so when we click on this plus sign it will create a new project so first of all on the first screen in creating a new project it will ask you which EPS enterprise project structure or division or department you want to create this project if you want to keep the same you can click on next otherwise you can click on this search button or lookup button when you click on this it will show you all the EPS defined in this company already so you can choose any EPS for example I select training division and then uh, either you can single click on this and then click on this green plus sign or you can double click on this so that EPS will be selected now when you click on next you see here ID and name ID means short code of the project or abbreviation of the project. Project name means full name. So for example I say RMP Real Metro Project. So you give ID and you give name here then click on next button. Here you see there are two dates here plan start and must finish by. Ignore this must finish by and uh, we will discuss it later project plan start now what do you think can we have project start date in future and can we have plan start date in past and can we have plan start date in in present so present is a simple scenario that we have just created or signed off a project and now we have just started doing the planning and we are doing the plan directly in primavera so in that case you will select the current start, current calendar date as a planned start. Similarly, uh, when you click on this uh, lookup button, it will open the project, uh, the calendar itself, so which you can go to next month and previous months also. When you click on this month name, it will uh, give you a summarized view. So now you can navigate in the years also. So here, uh, we can select, let's say, I want to say the project is going to start from 2nd of April. I can select this date. That means project we are doing uh, planning right now, maybe paperwork only or planning only and the project will start actually from 2nd of April. So present is also possible, future is also possible. What do you think? Why or how or in what situation we will use a past date? Past date could be used for example we can say uh, 1st of January 2018 which is past the situation could be we were using some other software maybe that could be one scenario or we started planning on paper manual, manually or maybe in the excel sheet and now we feel that uh, we need some uh, formal planning software or project management tool for that so that could be 
another reason that we can give a pass date. So what we did so far, we just selected EPS, we gave project short name, ID and full name and we selected the start date. After that you can click on finish. Although you can go to next also but this is the minimum information that you should uh, give while creating a project. So I will finish here and uh, remaining in the next topic I will say I will tell you how to create WBS and activities in the next videos. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.